Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today we're looking at my hibiscus bonsai. This uh, tree or plant was given to me by my mom. Uh, it was a big, tall, multi-trunk plant and uh, it was getting too big for her house so she gave it to me and I'm turning it into a bonsai. I've been growing it as a bonsai for probably at least 10 years now. Today we're going to give it a new front and we're going to do some styling to it. Uh, this is, I'm not sure the exact variety of it, but it's a regular hibiscus. It gets great big red flowers on it. Last year I got three of them. Great big flowers. Looked very colorful in the greenhouse. So this front I picked uh, the present front is okay, but I think it's better about this angle. The trunk comes more towards you, and it shows the branch structure off a little better. So let's go in and we'll have a look at the tree, and then we'll get to work on it. So here's the tree up close. Um, you can see there's a, a big scar here that was originally there when I got the tree. Uh, branch must have been removed. It's really nice. I, I like the character in it. Uh, it's healed over in a really nice uh, fashion. Uh, there's some trunks here that I removed long ago. Uh, they look okay, but they're not great healing. Uh, however, so the reason I'm picking a new front, this front, I've got a lot of multi branches coming off of here. And from this angle, the trunk kind of leans away from you and comes back, but it's still, the tree looks like it's leaning backwards a bit too much. So if I rotate it around, this branch is in a better position and the trunk's coming forward and you can see the multi branches look better from this view. And our trunk line's quite clean in this view. We don't have any scars or anything. It would be nice to show this scar off. It's a nice feature, but from this position, the trunk leans away from you. Kind of shows these two scars, which I don't really like. So I, I think this is the best view for the tree. I'll just rotate it around. This view, it kind of comes forward and hides that back branch. This view shows these ugly scars off too much and it comes towards you and then starts leaning away. In this view it's all leaning away from you. Yeah so that was the front here so we're going to change it to about here. So I think that'll look a lot better. So that means we're going to repot it uh, the soil in it is draining quite well. It doesn't really need repotting, but we're going to do it anyway. Just to reposition this as the front of the tree in the pot. So first we're going to do some pruning to it. Keeping in mind this is our front view. So the first thing we'll do, if this is the front view, this branch would look better if it went off to the side a little more. So we're going to do some directional pruning. So I'm going to prune it off to here and our new leader of the branch will grow more towards the right. I'm going to remove some of these old leaves in here so we can see the trunk line a little more cleanly. I'm going to get rid of this one too and this one. So now you can see the branch structure a little better in there. Uh, this will be our main leader here, which looks good. There's nothing wrong with it. We have a branch growing in here that's sticking straight up. We can remove that. There we go. Should have used my heavier pruners. So we've removed that. I'll get rid of this little sucker in here, like so. So our, our trunk comes up and where this branch is dividing into two 
which is fine. We're going to prune off the vertical growth on it back to a leaf here that's facing outwards to there to this branch and this branch it's kind of uh, fairly straight here we do have a horizontal branch coming off of it here a vertical two vertical ones coming off of here and I think we want to keep it more as a horizontal branch so I'm gonna get rid of the vertical growth on it at least that one let's see I think we're gonna get rid of the back one too we've got a lot of fine branches coming out at the tip here which we can develop so we'll get rid of this one up top here too. Let's get in here. Like so. So it's more of a horizontal branch now. We have our vertical leader here. And then we've got, let's check the branch structure at the tip here. We have this as a horizontal branch. Got another bud developing at the bottom here, one at the side here. I think we've got to remove everything and just keep the two branches here. So we'll do that. And then we'll clean up that stub here. to reduce the bulk a bit there. That's a little better. Okay. I think that'll do for that branch. Now on our leader, we do have some branches coming off the inside here. Which I don't think we want. They're going in towards the design or in towards the center of the tree. So we'll get rid of those. I've got a sucker coming up here at the crotch of the tree, which we don't want also. We'll get rid of that. And now let's look at this trunk here. So we're coming up nicely. We've got two fairly thick branches coming off. We've got one growing down from the bottom here, which I don't think we want. It just kind of clutters up our trunk line, so we'll get rid of that. And I think this one coming out the bottom is maybe cluttering it up too. So we, we, we're getting, instead of having two branches coming off the one, we've got three here. So we're going to have to get rid of that one too. Like so. Then on this back branch, we've got one growing to the inside here we can get rid of. I've got some more suckers at the base of the branch, which I think we'll also get rid of. Well, maybe we'll keep that back one. We'll just get rid of the one here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now this branch at the back here, 
rid of that too. We've got it dividing into two. This one's dividing into two again, so we'll just prune it off shorter at our first set of leaves and also here. cleaned up pretty good. And then, so this is our leader. And these are going to be sort of spreading branches. I'm thinking of removing that vertical growth here. Cutting it right back. to there. And we'll get a more horizontal branch coming off of this shoot here. Now I've still got three branches coming off at the back here. I think we'll have to get rid of that little one in here. I'm just looking at the overall design, wondering if I need to take this branch back further. It's a little dominant. Yeah, I, I think we have, because we have that back branch here, it's kind of redundant having this one here. And it is, it's a little straight for, you know, it's too long and straight in this section. So if we can get some movement in it, earlier it'll look better. That does look better. And then we'll just prune back this branch. Just take the tip off it. Like so. And then our little side branch here. We'll just take that back for our first set of leaves. there. Let's clean this stub up here. And we'll do some directional pruning on this little shoot here. We'll just take the tip off of it. There. Well, let's have a look at it now. That looks better, I think. Um, let's just look at our apex now. Got a shoot coming out here. We can trim this top one back a little. And we'll just take the tip off of this one also. Get some ramification happening. Well, I think that'll do it for pruning. So our next step will be to repot it, having our new front of the tree to the front of the pot. So let's start on that next. So we'll get the tree out of the pot, and we'll see what's going on with the roots. This tree was repotted two years ago. And as I said, it's, uh, the soil's draining really well indicates it's not root bound and it's uh, you know the soils in good shape so we're basically just going to repot it to reposition the tree and we'll do any corrective root work that we can do and there's usually some there's usually always some root work you can do correct it. And there we go, it's loosened up the edges. Let's take the tree out. There we go. Take our pot away. 
and let's look at the roots. So we've got a good mat on the bottom. Roots are very fine on a hibiscus. It looks like the roots are growing, you know, evenly through the soil, so looks like it had a good soil mixture and everything's in good shape. So we'll start by raking out the top of it. Gently raking it. And if we can expose any more surface roots, we will bring the tree up in the pot a little bit. Looking good. Let me just uh, get rid of this old soil. And we'll start on the bottom. There's our drainage screens. Another one. And again, we'll just start from the center and rake outwards. That looked like a good soil mix in here. Almost have all the soil out now. We tore off a few roots, but not too many. We're going to uh, wash the roots now and uh, we'll come back and do our root pruning. Okay, so I've washed the roots and we're gonna do a, another combing. Get them all sorted out. Untangled. That's pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and look for roots that are crossing problem roots. Um, we have a curved one here that I did correct before and it has a new root growing in a more radial pattern so we'll just clean up that cut point from the root. There's not too much we can do about that. There's another one here that's kind of curling. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's going in a good direction. It's not, it just has a bit of a curl to it, which is okay. Yeah, the rest look pretty good. So we'll just do a prune around the edges to equalize our the balance of the root ball so any of the roots that are growing really vigorously will get trimmed back harder than the finer roots which have less vigor And we'll clean our pot up and uh, see how it fits in the pot. We've got our pot cleaned up. This is a really nice pot. It's a Mitsutani pot from Japan. So let's just get the front of our tree here, which is about there, and test fit it. So we're a little long on the roots front and back, so we're going to have to do some more pruning. So I'll just prune off some more roots here, some off the front. Let's 
see how that goes. It's still a little tight front and back. Do some more pruning. We're going to prune off some of these bottom roots also. Keep our root ball flat on the bottom. Let's see how it fits in now. That's pretty good. Um, when you prune your roots to fit in the pot, you want some room around the roots for them to grow. You don't want your roots right tight up against the edge of the pot. Okay, let's get some uh, soil in our pot, put our drainage screens in, and we'll plant the tree. Okay, so I've got the tree, and I'm just going to pick the exact front of the tree. I think right there. And then we have to pick a position for the to place it in the pot, looking side to side. Um, this tree kind of slants over here, so the mass is more to the left side. So we want to offset the tree a little to the right, just to keep our mass kind of centered in the pot. So I think somewhere about there looks good, and the height will be somewhere about here. Okay, so let's get our soil in. I need a little more soil. In the middle. I'm going to do this from this side so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So you'll be seeing the back of the tree. I'm just adjusting the height. That's looking pretty good. And then we'll give our roots a final rake. Make sure they're all in the Nice and radial, We're not crossing each other. And... I could go off center a little more. Right about there looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add our soil slowly. And we'll work it in to the roots. like a chickadee. And when you're uh, working the soil in, just be careful you don't, you know, you're not jamming it in too hard, your chopstick or the whatever you're using, just because you don't want to be damaging the roots. It's a little loose in the pot. I still have to, I still have to work the soil in more. When you have your soil all worked in nicely, you'll find the tree firms up in the pot. It won't be wiggly.
Yeah, that's firming up pretty nicely in there. All right, I think that'll do. We'll uh, give it a water now. And there we go. And we'll just run a full watering can through it. Make sure the soil's all nicely soaked. That's all the work we'll be doing on our hibiscus bonsai today. I'll just rotate the tree around so you can have a look at it. So we'll uh, follow the progress of this tree. Um, hopefully we'll get it to flower again and get some great big orange flowers on it, which is kind of cool. They grow huge, the flowers. They don't reduce in size. Um, and to get flowers, you need to let it grow. So um, if I were to put this in the greenhouse next spring and just let it grow, we would probably get flowers on it. If you keep it pruned, you're not going to get flowers. It needs, uh, you know, a shoot at least this long, this long, before it'll develop flower buds. Yeah, so they, they make a great bonsai. They're easy to care for. Um, they can get quite bushy and uh, quite nice looking. Um, yeah, so it's a nice flowering bonsai to add to your collection if you grow a hibiscus bonsai. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.